Okay, we're going... Ah! Okay, going back to Garrett. That doesn't sound good. Uh-oh. What's going on now? Seven L's. That's what I would say. Oh god, Ramsey Snow. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? <gasps> oh crap. Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> Like a drowning cat. Oh, I thought he'd oh, never no, stop. no. Let's go back. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was I'm just trying to avoid that guy. He does now. He likes to look around. How okay. much further is it to these foresters? Oh, God. Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? Uh, My lord? Shh! Wasn't shh. anything. Oh, go away. There. Oh, damn it. Hear that? I know I heard something. Never mind. Whew. We've wasted enough time already. Just turn around. There you go. Good job. I think that was the right choice. Running probably would have got him crossbowed. And his other leg. Oh, don't look at this. You know it's gonna be bad. Okay. You know, you should wait until they leave, you know, a little bit further away. Until they get a little further away, rather. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, back in Iron Wrath, well, I Ethan, imagine. Back to Ethan. Yeah. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. These were your father's people to lead and protect? Could answer that. <laughs> but your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! <laughs> Summon the Lord! We need his judgment! It's definitely not that guy. I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! <laughs> Lord Ethan. Oh dear. Missed it. You spoke of judgment, Sir Royland. What judgment is that? 
This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! Okay. We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. Well, it's probably it's gonna happen. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Mercy. Go. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who starve in come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. He's a thief. We can send him to the war. Leave the man alone. Show him mercy, my lord. He stole from he us. Make him pay for what he's done. Give us justice. Ah, fuck it. I will decide. Send him to the war. Take his fingers. He's a thief. Okay. If you punish me. You'll be punishing an innocent man. Mercy, I justice, think. my lord. Please, my lord. My family uh, depends on you. And it's then you were stealing. I, Ethan of House Forrester, Lord of Ironrath, name you a thief. A thief kill him. The price for your crime is three of your fingers. No, oh, please, my lord. My lord, please. Please, no. That's mercy enough, I think. My lord. Normally, it is the Lord's duty to carry out the sentence, but I am willing to carry it out. I will carry out uh. the sentence. Oh this man, now I feel like Lord. really bad for this. I didn't have him killed or anything. I thought they had that, that choice. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a That's sentinel right. can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone well, that... you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom. And I'm sure you think you'd be the perfect choice. Me? Oh, gods, no. I can't get involved. I am a maester. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve as such. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to <laughs> them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here, the Bracer of the Sentinel. Okay. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as Sentinel. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Okay. I mean, I like both of them. One's more brash, likes to seek out justice and vengeance swiftly, and the other is smarter. 
You enter the tower. Let's do that. Unless that, uh... Okay, no. no go, go look at... Okay, fine. Yeah, we'll go in the tower. Why not? So many options right now. I guess I'm gonna stand over and look at all the people, uh, practicing. Okay. Alright, well that was a waste of time. Okay, let's see. I mean, I could talk to him again. I could look at some food. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in oh. desperate times. But they're already starving. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No, there must be something else we can do. Well, I hope we find it soon. We won't have much room to maneuver if we don't have the option of holding fast. I can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Perhaps they can do more. My lord. There you go. At least check out Duncan. some options. First. Yes, my lord. I have now. Can I talk to you some more? Face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. I haven't decided yet. Well, you must soon, my lord. This is not a matter to be taken lightly. Thank you, Duncan. Yeah. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Yeah, okay, can I just... Uh, I have to talk to you again. <laughs> oh, I can't ask him anything else? Oh, I wanted to ask why he sent Slash Garrett away. Slash! Because he doesn't, Ethan doesn't know. I mean, I know, obviously, but I wanted to see what he would have said. Ethan. Okay, we'll talk to Malcolm. Should I say Lord Ethan? Maybe ask a Hello, better Uncle question. Malcolm. I saw what you did today. Oh. It's not an easy thing to do, dealing out a harsh punishment, no matter how warranted. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow, at first light. Uncle, why are you packing? You're not going somewhere, are you? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. Okay. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Yes, but Ramsey Snow is also crazy. Okay. 
Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. The way you punished him. How could you be so cruel? Okay. I'm worried about you. What am I supposed to think? I did what I had to. I had no choice. You always have choices. I know you told me you'd have to change, but I suppose I hadn't believed you would. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Royland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Yeah, I kind of agree with her. It's time to go put the brace. Oh, I better talk to the other guy first, I guess. I don't want to just cancel my options without checking them all. Sword up. There we go. Swing left. Oh, I, I have to do this. Okay. Wrong. I did not dodge the old sword. A word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and center. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, you should know that swinging that blade yourself took stones. It was a man's way of justice. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh yes, my god, my it makes it so... Can I just talk to you again? I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be. Yeah, but I told him I did it. So. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. Duncan Tuttle is a good man. Aye, a fine man. Why is he? But he has no business being a sentinel. He likes to talk. But now's the time for action. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my this lord. This guy's getting cocky with me. Okay, so wait, if I'm supposed to give him the bracer, like, don't I have to wait to do that until later? Duncan, look, I'm I've just gonna give it to him. Name you as my sentinel. Congratulations. Why? Thank you, my lord. I'm honored. But are you sure? Yes, of course. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But first, you must summon the small council, my lord, to make it official. Right. I'll tell Maester or Tengrin to do it at once. Yes. I think I'm making the right decision. Because I can be brash on my own. I don't really need that guy helping out. Maester. It's a balancing act, I think. Yes, Lord Ethan. Let's go talk I to Maester to a or Tengrin. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once.
Okay. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, okay. Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle! This... this is reckless! Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. I'm not gonna ignore people. Lord Ethan Jeez. deserves to hear from all of us. Let Sir Royland speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say, Sir Royland. No, no. You chose your sentinel. He should speak on this. Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. I agree. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! My new sentinel favors a certain approach and I agree. Oh, dear. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance, and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to well, serve I mean, we you. should still prepare to fight. <laughs> Aye. What well, can't we do that? Well, then... Let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Okay. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I will meet him in the Great Hall. We have to appeal the to his vanity. Lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering he is you wrong? a crazy I bastard. Freuland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. A 
Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, you better remember we know what that. we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, I have fought for this family for many years. Do not forget that. I don't dislike you guy. There will always I agree be those with who some question things your leadership. You which is why we you need just allies prepare you on our on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others mm -hmm. who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. He has no desire to rule. Asher is volatile, but that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said, Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but... I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No. But you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. I'm sorry, Mother, but I can't have Malcolm bring Asher back. He will not go to Essos. That is the final word. Do you hear me? I hear you, but this is a mistake. I wish you trusted me with this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. We don't need somebody else brash. Well... Look, <laughs> you have to make decisions quickly in this game. I felt that was the right one at the time. I may regret it. Oh, okay. Let's see. Examine. It's a key. Okay. Examine that. It's the seal of House Tyrell. Okay. Look, this is uh, okay. No, I'm not doing Marjorie? any of this stuff. Oh. I'm back Lady out. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Mm -hmm. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. Thank you, Sarah. But I have to do this myself. If you feel that way. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... Uh-oh. It doesn't look good. My lady, I'll leave you to talk.
Are you all right, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. God. Well, I figured. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Well, I don't regret lady, taking the seal. I know what she would have done with that. Begging your pardon, Forge the letter. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know. I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Okay. You've got a friend in me. Probably take you up on that offer later. Hopefully. Without getting you killed, little coal boy. Where's Sir Roy? He even said his name. He I just be missed here. that. The man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Oh god, this Isn't is really this a bad. pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roos Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the you, Warden Lord. of the... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? May I offer you bread and salt, Lord Ramsay? I loathe bread and salt. Aren't you the little lord? The Lord Whitehall you told me you were young, but this... Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our ironwood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. <laughs> not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? 
Given enough time, we could learn... Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Look at that! More Forrester. Lord Ramsay? Come out where I can see you. Oh, we God. really must focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton. Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. We will double our efforts for your father, my lord. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One White Hill soldier. Oh, shut up, White Hill scum. Bottom. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. Ah, uh, one little slip. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them. You cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord White Hill will take half of your Ironwood. Damn straight. And we'll see who fares better. But my lord. Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the King's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. God. You have a man you trust? Like I, well. I keep saying that, but it's Riff. true. We lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here, lads. Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. Okay. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. Huh. I never had a sister. Good one, Ramsay. Enough, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? 
Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. Oh no. We'd get along well. <gasps> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? David! <laughs> no! What have you done? But I don't want a bold lord. <laughs> Far too much trouble. Uh, Ethan! Ethan! No! 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 Even though you did bend the knee. I, I think we've come to an understanding. Not Ethan! I certainly feel Ethan! better about all this. Ethan. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your will. No! Kill him. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mixer! Oh, go to hell. Me. You brought this on to sell. Mama! Stop! Don't let him take me! Let it go! Stop that! Don't be quiet! Stop it! Let me go! Ryan! Do something! My son. Well, that did not go the way I planned. I bet you I could have stopped that from happening. Oh man. That was crazy first chapter to this story. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Okay, let's see. You and 47.3% stayed with Bowen. Okay, you and 73.7% swore loyalty to the king. You and 19.3% took Eric's fingers. Okay, so I'm... Um, look, I understand that one. You and 61% picked Duncan as Sentinel. So the majority picked the wiser of the two. And you and 63.2% met Ramsay in the Great Hall. Not too bad. So I guess Ethan dies no matter what? Well, anyway, I do, I do hope you enjoyed that. Whoever watches this... And I can't wait to see what happens in episode 2. It'll be very interesting. I mean, obviously Ethan does die. Because they say he sacrificed himself, so... No coming back from getting stabbed in the neck by Ramsay Snow, but... I did see Jon Snow. So I'm looking forward to that. I like that the main characters of the story... And the actors who played them you know, on the HBO series, our voice acting in this. It's really good. Anyway, I'll let the, uh... Let the credits roll, and I'll see you next time.